copyright. This is possibly the most boring section in this set of resources, but it's probably the most important because it's the one that people keep getting wrong. All creative work is copyrighted. It's copyrighted automatically. You don't have to do anything to copyright something. You just, when you create it, it is copyrighted. If you create it for your job, it's a commission, and then the commissioner owns the work that you created. Copyright law is different in different countries. Mickey Mouse is in copyright in America, but out of copyright everywhere else. Copyright law is complex. International law, copyright law is very complex. There are two sorts of copyright. There is intellectual copyright and there is mechanical copyright. Intellectual copyright is the, the ideas behind something. So, for example, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, or Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, for example, a better choice, um, the actual notes, the sequence of the notes, that's, that copyright belongs to Beethoven because he wrote it. He came up with the idea. But a recording of that work is, has a separate, different copyright which is owned by whoever made the recording, usually the record company. So Beethoven's been dead a long time. His works are now in the public domain. The intellectual copyright for the Moonlight Sonata is in the public domain, but the mechanical copyright on a new recording is probably owned by the record company or certainly owned by somebody else other than Beethoven. So you can't just go and use a piece of classical music uh, in your production because there will be a copyright on it. In some cases, you can have multiple, multiple copyrights. So in, in film, for example, there is not just a copyright on the, the actual film, but the screenplay is copyright. The music is copyrighted twice by both the composer and the recording of it. So there, there's several copyright issues all going on at the same time, like nested copyright. In New Zealand, these are the laws for copyright. Um, copyright lasts, intellectual copyright lasts 50 years after the author's death. So for example, Beethoven, he's been dead, um, he's been dead way more than 50 years, so the intellectual copyright on all his works is in the public domain. In other words, anybody can use his ideas. A. A. Milne wrote Winnie the Pooh, and he died, he died more than 50 years ago, so Winnie the Pooh, intellectual copyright is in the public domain. But, um, uh, anything that I write, not not this production, I'll tell you why in a minute, but for example, I've got a book, Samurai Shadow Princess, that's copyrighted to me, I'm not dead yet. When I die, my children will be able to exploit the copyright on that work for 50 years. In addition to that, we have mechanical copyright, which is 75 years from the date of first publication. And so how that works is... is uh, uh, for example, the score that Beethoven first had published was published more than 75 years ago. I can reproduce that score. If I've got a copy of that original score, I can reproduce it and I can sell it. It's in the public domain. Um, if there was a recording of it made more than 75 years ago, which is you know getting back into the dawn of recording, um, then I could use that recording in a production that I wanted to do but I couldn't use a recent reproduction, a recent recording, and I couldn't use a restored recording because the restoration would have copyrights. Now, that's the law in New Zealand, 50 years for intellectual, 75 years for mechanical, but the trouble is, is that a lot of the copyright collection agencies, and I'm talking here about APRA, APRA, the Australasian Performing Rights Association, and AMCOS, the Australasian Mechanical Copyright Owners Society, apply, they don't actually apply the law. They, they say they're not in the business of figuring out who owns what, they just use a database. And the database is created in America and it follows American law, which is completely different to New Zealand law. And for that reason, a lot of things are, are considered to be in copyright when they're actually out of copyright in New Zealand law. Really, copyright law is a mess, it's complicated, and it depends on how much money you have as to whether you win the case or not, just try to avoid going there at all. Try to avoid using copyright resources at all because they're a mess and a nightmare and you could run into all sorts of problems. When you make something for a commission, you are, you are given a job to make something, then the commissioner owns the copyright. 
So, for example, these videos that you're watching now, um, I'm paid by Otago Polytech to make these videos. They gave me a commission. They said, here, Phil, here's some money. Go make us some videos, some online, some resources for video making. And so they own that. They own the copyright to this. So that's an important distinction to make. Just because you create it doesn't mean you own it. If you created it for a job, then you, you're, the, the person who commissioned it or the entity that commissioned it owns the work.